Hello, everybody. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, Toyo Tree, West Town, Edmonton, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Uh, they are right across the street from Wilson Park. They'll outfit you with all your hockey needs. Player gear, got you covered. Fan gear, got you covered. Matter of fact, I think they carry all the Midwest teams. Um, except for maybe the Red Wings, not 100% sure on that, but I'll check when I go tomorrow and give you all an update. Um, and then we've got uh, referee gear, but they don't have an eye test to make you a good one. <laughs> However, let's get into why we're here. Why we're here is to do a little Preds prospect update, some moving around happen, and injury update. Injury update, we're going to start there. All right, we got day-to-day. We're going to start there with Phil Forsberg and Victor Arvidsson. Arvidsson will be okay. It is just day-to-day. <laughs> it's not as bad as we all thought. Well, However, good. on the bad side, Carrier will be out at least till April 6th or April 26th, till the end of the month. Okay. Uh, Mark Barveski will be out till the 6th, so tomorrow at the least. Uh, Ryan Ellis out till the 6th at the least. Brad Richardson out till the 6th at the least. Uh, Matt Duchesne, same thing, out till the 6th at the least. Uh, Lucas Sabisa, same thing, out till the 6th at, at the least that we know of for the current moment. Ellis is a welcome sight. Right. Shane may have to start lower in the lineup with how that top line and that second line are, and the third line, oh man, where are they going to fit him? Right. With how they're playing, fitting some of these guys back in may be a problem. Yeah, it might be. Forsberg, that's easy. Arvidsson, that's easy. Duchesne, not so much. Ellis, yeah. With the injury to the decor, that's big. Get it, get yeah. It. Um, depending on how he plays. Now, with the injury prone that he is, we'll see what happens. But let's talk about a couple things that did happen. First off, some of the transactions. Devin Cooley sent to Florida Everblades. Everblades fans, you guys got to be oh, 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 right now because, you know, even though Perperni played good, he's still young. And so is Cooley, but Cooley's proven himself. He's got right. two shutouts and I believe eight wins. So with that being said, uh, we're going to just parlay ourselves into the, into the system until we get to the next transaction we talk about. So in the system is where we talk about the guys that are not signed or playing in the NHL, which for Nashville right now is kind of hard, but I'll get into as much as I can because so many guys are hurt. So many guys are getting signed and it's hard to make those movements. All right. right. Top point getter for the Preds prospects is you saw Parson in from TPS Liga in Finland. Uh, he's played 52 games, 8 goals, 32 assists. 32 apples, huh? That's actually pretty impressive. With a plus 6, not bad. Not uh, bad. Uh, production of the year or update of the year, uh, Tanner Janot is good at hockey. <laughs> yeah. Tanner Janot, uh, he did play 5 games with the Everblades and racking up 3 goals, 3 assists. That's nothing new for us. We knew he was good, but to know he was this good, let's talk about what he did with Chicago so far. The Chicago Wolves are the feeder team to the to the um, Predators this season with um, Milwaukee having to opt out. Um, with that being said, uh, some of the issues that they do run into is trying to fit in guys where they can. All right, so Terry right. Jones with the Wolves has played 12 games, 8 uh, nine goals, tw- 10 assists, 19 points in 12 games with a plus 13. He is averaging 1.58 points per game. That's huge. All right. Then we had uh, Frederick Allard, a guy I've been really keen on since coming here. I believe right. he had a huge upside, much like Carrier, and I would get on him when he messes up. But All right. And uh, Velasher SV in the ICEHL over there in Austria. 
Um, he played 25 games, four goals, nine assists, 13 points to minus eight. But bigger ice, smaller hockey player, never played overseas, always played on an American break. There's some adjustments to be made. There is um, adjustments, yeah. However, when he came back to the American side, played nine games, two goals, eight assists, 10 points in nine games, averaging a point, 1.11 points per game with a plus 10. Not bad either. All right, then we got Joachim Kondalik. Joachim Kondalik is at the University of Connecticut. Um, I believe Nashville will show interest in him during the offseason um, to sign him. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I think that's going to be the move that they make. I would not be surprised, however, to see him stay the four years so that he can get a college education. It, right. It's, it's, you're seeing it more and more now. You are, which is uh, good. Um, however, it does help hurt the development a little bit of a hockey player. So, right. with that being said, he did play 23 games for North University of Connecticut, 23, uh, 22 points, four goals, 18 assists, and a zero on the plus minus, but a it's better than having negative. Right. Uh, new signee of the Nashville Predators, Grant Mishmash, by the way, I will be getting that Admiral's jersey as soon as they release their third jersey, whatever they do that. Um... That he played for the University of North Dakota in the NCAA, 20 games, 10 goals, 9 assists, 19 points, plus 8. Pretty solid. Yeah. Um, then we have Tommy Novak. He currently has not played much for the Wolves, be it that he is on the taxi squad with the National Predators with all the injuries that they have. However, he has played 14 games there, 3 goals, 13 assists, 16 points, and a plus 8. Uh, then we got Adam Willsby. Adam Willsby is an 18 year old defenseman out of Skolaftia, uh, the AIK of the Swedish Hockey League. Uh, 48 games played, six goals, 12 assists, 18 points, and a plus 18. So you're keeping your plus minus right at what you're scoring, which means he ain't making many mistakes. No, he isn't. Um, and then we have Isaiah Walther. Isaiah Walther is a kind of a small guy. Matter of fact, they had to put him in. He's so small on, and on nobody's radar that they had to put him into the draft system just to draft him. Um, Interesting. He, ha- no. uh, he, is eight, he had 18 games played, 8 goals, 9 assists, 17 points, and a minus 1. Uh, he is currently playing in the J20 National in Sweden. Okay. Uh, then we got Alexander Campbell. He's in his freshman year of college, 22 games played, four goals, 13 assists, 17 points, and plus 10. Uh, David Ferentz, check out my video, signed by the Nashville Predators, 11 games played for Boston U, uh, five goals, 11 assists, plus one. Uh, Gunnar Wolf Fontaine, you don't even go there with me, John. I already know your mind went to the Mighty Ducks. Mm. <laughs> Gunnar Stahl, Wolf, Dennis the Wolf Stanton, and one of the players on the other ice, other member of the Iceland team was named Fontaine. So don't even go there. Mm. He's not from Iceland. He's from America. <laughs> <laughs> he went to Northeastern University. He played 21 games, six goals, nine assists, 13, 15 points, and a minus seven. Uh, Tomasino, Philip Tomasino, first round draft pick of the Nashville Predators. In the 2019 draft, he has played for the Chicago Wolves with the limited amount of availability for the uh, junior leagues. So he is playing with the Wolves, like I said. Uh, 15 games played, 5 goals, 10 assists, 15 points, plus 13. Nice. Uh, then we have uh, Mark Del Gazio, defenseman out of UMass. Plays, for the NC- uh, plays in the NCAA. He's out of America there. Uh, he has 25 games played, three goals, 11 assists, 14 points, and a plus 19. Your plus minus is higher than your point. Yeah. Pretty good there. Very uh, good. Uh, Eli Tolvanen, y'all know what he's doing. <laughs> All right. Complete tear lately. Doing great. All right, then we have uh, Igor Afanasyev. Trust me, I'm still getting used to that one. Afanasyev and Afanasyev. I will figure it out as soon as I can. Mm -hmm. Uh, Correct correct American pronunciation. 
He has played 22 games over in Russia this year uh, with seven goals, five assists, 12 points, and a plus two. Uh, 16 of the go- those were in the KHL against men with two goals, four assists. So most of his points have come in that uh, in the men's league. Uh, he did score five goals in the minor leagues there with uh, four games played, five goals, one assist. Okay. Uh, Spencer Statsny of the University of Notre Dame. Still don't like your helmets over there, Notre Dame. They hurt my eyes. Hey, if we all wanted to look like Golden Bombers, we'd, 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 we would look that way, but we don't. Um, anyway, he plays in the NCAA. 29 games played, set, five goals, seven assists, and a plus five. Uh, Lucas Craigs is currently injured in Chicago, has not played in over a month. Uh, Ron Pentlick has not played in a month because he's been on the taxi squad that long. Uh, Patrick Harper hasn't played because they haven't benched. Uh, however, let's get to Alexander Carrier. Uh, Alexander Carrier, uh, 14 games played, five goals, four assists, nine points, and a plus four. Actually, that's a carry, and that's Anthony Richard. <laughs> Look at me having a, a rookie moment here. Anthony Richard, <laughs> Chicago Wolves, 14 games played, five goals, four assists, nine points, plus four. All right. Um, we have a guy coming back this year from the KHL, Yaroslav Yeraminko. He is uh, uh, playing in Dynamo Minsk in the KHL in the Russian League, uh, which is the men's league. Uh, this is his second year in the league, final year of his contract. He said that he wants to play for Nashville, so he will. Um, once his contract's up, uh, that is 44 games played, five, four goals, five assists, and a plus six. Not bad in a men's league. No, not bad at all. Uh, Cole Smith, he's been up and down for the Wolves and uh, Predators. Uh, he has 14 games played for the Wolves, two goals, four assists, no plus minus. Jeremy Davies, he's currently with the uh, Predators. He has uh, nine games played with the Wolves, nine assists, plus 10. Uh, we got Luke Reed of the University of New Hampshire with the NCAA. He has 22 games played, uh, three goals, five assists, minus three, not that good. Trennan, you know where he is. All right. Mm-hmm. The guy that we traded away, uh, Zach Magwood, was Michael Kirkone. Michael Kirkone is currently playing for the Tucson Roadrunners. 21 games played, four goals, two assists, six points, and a minus 16. Ouch. Ooh. All right. Then we have Sean Malone uh, with the Chicago Wolves. Seven games played, one goal. Five assists, plus three. Uh, then we got Chase McLean. Uh, he was uh, at the University, uh, Penn State University, University of Penn State, huh? or the State Penn. Oh, well, let's not go there. All righty, let's leave all jokes about that college alone. Um, Nineteen games played, three goals, two assists, five points, minus eight. Not good, but not horrible for your freshman year. Right. Uh, Luke Proka, he has played 10 games now for the Calgary Hitmen in the Western Hockey League in Canada. Two goals, what is this? Three points, plus three. Josh Wilkins, he is currently with the Tucson Roadrunners. 15 games played, one goal, one assist, minus eight. Are the Roadrunners that bad? I don't know. I will look after this. Trust me, I will. All right, then we have Ch- Simeon Chishikov. Uh, he plays for Avogadro Minsk in the KHL, 39 games played, one goal, two assists, four plus four. So his plus minus is higher than his point ratio, and he's played 39 games, keeping it low. All right, Luke Evangelista has now played three games for the Chicago Wolves. He has uh, one assist. Uh, Tyler Lewington is currently with the Nashville Predators. He's played three games, no points, plus two. Uh, Brendan Fortunato, he is with the Cleveland Monsters. Eight games played, no points, plus two. Goalies. Goalies are the interesting stat here. All right, we got Konstantin Volkov of the VHL in Russia. He has 26 games played, 1.53 goals against average, and a .932 save percentage. Not bad, but that's about as low as it goes for that particular right. that level of hockey is about as low as it goes all yeah. right we got ethan hater out of the clarkson university 16 games played 2.00 goals against average with a 0.921 save percentage 
that save percentage is actually pretty good. Yeah. Against average, I could do without, but that's beside the point. All right, then we got Devin Cooley with the Florida Everblades. Mm-hmm. So far with them this year, he has 13 games played with a 2.25 goals against average and a .918 save percentage. Doesn't matter if you're like five a game if you got if they're scoring seven. <laughs> right. Me and John have watched enough. We know they that when they come push comes to shove, they can light the lamp. All, All right. right, we got Thomas Vamaka out of University of Connecticut with the NCAA 23 games played, 2.84 goals against average with a .909 save percentage. For those of you tomorrow wondering if I complain about my arm hurting, I am getting the COVID shot just for warning during the show. So if mm-hmm. I have issues during the show, don't blame me. Blame the lady giving me the COVID shot. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about the Preds' number one draft pick because John's interested to hear these stats. Yeah. <laughs> John's learning about this. This is his first in the system, so he's just letting me fly. Yeah, He'll probably get much. a little more active uh, towards the end, uh, towards next year's. All right, because we're going to be doing this all off season as well. Yeah. Um, just trying to keep everybody up to date. All right. In the MHL, he's played two games with a 0.50 goals against average and a 0.979 save percentage. Whew. Two games, you only allow a goal a game. If that, maybe one goal. With yeah. a 0.979 save percentage, not bad. In the KHL, he's played nine games with a 1.21 goals against average and a 0.951 save percentage. Even better. Yes, yeah. uh, goals against maybe higher, but he played more games. So it yeah, evens he it out to where he was in the MHL. Right. Um, all right, he's played six games in the VHL in Russia as well with a 2.12 goals against average of 0.923 save percentage. That is actually the highest goals against average he has had in his whole career. Wow. That's impressive. Uh, uh, then we have uh, Devin Cooley, who did play two games for the Chicago Wolves, won both of them against the Rockford Ice Hogs, um, with a 3.00 goals against average and a .895. Same percentage. Same percentage could be better, but for your first couple games in the AHL, not bad. No, not bad at all. All righty, with that being said, that was our in the system and update. We are currently sitting at six days, 18 hours, maybe 17 hours at this point for um, the trade deadline. We will be here as quickly as we can with a uh, trade update if Nashville is involved in anything at all. Right. Uh, At the current moment, dead silence so we're gonna be done with that and uh thank you for checking our video please don't forget to like and follow us on facebook subscribe on youtube click that bell to get notified every time we upload a video we will see you guys tomorrow peace